Someone who's been active all their life, I try to find out the hobbies and activities of my patient, and we really try to restore people back to the original level of uh, function as soon and as quickly as possible. I'm Dr. Frank Joseph, I'm a board certified orthopedic surgeon specializing in disorders of the upper extremity, including the shoulder, elbow, wrist, and hand. The reason I decided to become a physician is that I spent my childhood in Germany living with my grandfather, who actually was the only physician in a small German town, and I actually used to do rounds with him in his VW uh, on the weekends, and this was a very inspirational time of my life. There's a lot of detailed fine work in hand, wrist, and upper extremity work, and I particularly enjoy that. On just a philosophical, spiritual level, uh, there's something very gratifying about restoring function to the upper extremity. We all use our hands to eat, we use our hands to pray, we use our hands to hold our loved ones. And it's very inspiring and satisfying. I have specific specialized training in wrist and uh, hand injuries. Um, so we take care of classic traumas such as carpal tunnel syndrome, arthritis, and various uh, traumatic injuries to these areas. The ages of, of the people we treat varies from from young children to uh, geriatric patients. So we see all walks of life and that's very interesting on a day-to-day -day basis. I actually lived in Queens for 22 years and uh, during the course of that in the last four years I was a cab driver on a day-to-day -day basis. I learned that I didn't want to be a cab driver and I think it gave me a lot of empathy for people who work uh, in blue-collar jobs. I actually attended uh, Queens College in New York City which is a uh, Gateway College for Immigrants' uh, Children. I'm, in fact, a child of an immigrant. Following my orthopedic training, I did a fellowship at the Hospital for Joint Diseases in New York City, which is one of the oldest orthopedic uh, training programs. I studied under a doctor, uh, Martin Posner, who was a, one of the founding fathers of the American Society of Hand Surgery, and it was a very uh, exceptional training experience. When patients come to our uh, office they will find a warm nurturing environment. I hope they will be seen in a timely fashion. And I hope that all their needs and concerns will be addressed and that we will at the end of the office visit have a game plan to try to uh, solve all the issues that they came to the office for. Approximately 5 to 10 percent of the patients I see ultimately will need some sort of corrective reconstructive surgical procedure. Having said that, the, the vast majority of upper extremity surgery is done as an outpatient procedure and the vast majority of surgery that I do is done at surgery centers connected to our practice. I've always had a long-standing uh, interest and passion in photography and recently realized that having a, a hobby would be a, a good idea and uh, renewed my interest in photography. Uh, my wife is a photo stylist so they've always had a lot of photographers running through my house. Uh, and I've been photographing on a day-to-day -day basis for over 10 years now. At the end of the day, I hope that all of my patients have a very speedy recovery um, and are able to go back to the life that they uh, had prior to their injury.